what's up guys, Clink here and welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video and today if you go to your mailbox it will say right here the super mix mode lunchtime at the lab. Oh hello again plants and zombies, hope you're hungry hungry because it's lunchtime in the laboratory Tra-la. Snack on scientists to chomp 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 your way to victory or if heal is your deal try scientists to starve out the chompocalypse. See you at the town hall, low, 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 the Ministry of Mystery. So this is the super mix mode this week. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I've actually played some of it in the past. So um, I was actually playing some of it yesterday. I got some rainbow stars and I managed to unlock some keys to get the Torchwood and the Hover Goat. So I'm going to hopefully unlock those two characters this weekend because this event is actually really good for rainbow stars. So I'm going to hopefully get those characters this weekend. But yeah, we're going to go ahead into the multiplayer portal and see how we can do in this mission portal event. Okay, we're in the game. So because it is chompers versus scientists, it means that the unicorn chomper is actually unlocked for everyone this weekend. So if you want to rank up your unicorn chomper, this is the perfect time to do it. I'm not sure if you can promote it, but I do know that you can rank up the unicorn chomper if you don't have the unicorn chomper. This is the only way to play as the unicorn chomper if you don't have this character unlocked. But for today, we're actually going to play as a disco chomper because this is a chomper that I haven't actually unlocked on PlayStation 4. So we're going to go ahead and play as the disco chomper and hopefully we can get the this guy's level 10 and um, the same on the zombie side I actually have the computer scientist not unlocked yet and so I'm gonna be getting him to level 10 as well which is nice I'm gonna get two legendary characters out of the way for the first ranking up so I can easily just promote all them to a uh, specialist when I, when I do manage to do that but um, this has been a very interesting event because Sometimes the scientists will always dominate over the plants and then sometimes the plants will always win So it's kind of just like luck with what side you get put on and what game you actually get put into So I think for today we'll play a couple of games because these games can last quite long sometimes so Hopefully we can get some cool vanquishes here Maybe we can get our disco chomper to maybe level 9 in today's video And maybe even if we get a chance to be uh, the disco chomper again We can hopefully get him to level 10 maybe I'm pretty sure that probably won't happen But it's it's a possibility to get this guy to level 10 today I think my computer scientist is also level uh, 8 or 9 as well So um, getting those two to level 10 is going to be awesome It's been awesome to be able to play a mystery portal event for once And actually be able to rank up my characters And yeah you guys might have noticed I'm actually on PlayStation 4 for this video. I normally do these videos on Xbox One, but I just felt like it made so much more sense to be on PlayStation for this event just because I actually had to get Rainbow Stars to unlock these new characters, and to do that, I'm gonna have to get Rainbow Stars from this event, and I don't really have a use for the Rainbow Stars on Xbox One, which is why I'm gonna be playing today's video on PS4. But again, I've got other characters I want to rank up and I don't have any characters to rank up on Xbox One either. So the only reason I'd want to actually play it on Xbox One is to get coins because of Rux and all the stuff he's selling this week. I do want to save up enough coins to get that legendary that he has. I don't really mind about anything else in the shop on Xbox One. It's just I really want to get that hat that he does have because I feel like that's the only time that we're going to be able to get that hat. And we actually get to level 9 which is awesome. So um, how far are we into this game? So we're about halfway through. Just over halfway through. The zombies are actually winning. They weren't winning before. So these games can either be really close or the plants can win all the time or the zombies can win all the time. Now you guys may have noticed something as well. There are a lot of unicorn chumpers and we have... Some people in here who have joined the game. That is really awesome. So that's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and try and get rid of this guy over here. He seems to be trying to get away from us. There we go. And I think there's actually a quest right now that you guys can pick up. Which is to uh, get rid of, I think it's 10 zombies by swallowing them. Which is a chomper quest. So um, that's quite cool that that quest is actually on right now for this event. So hopefully that should be cool. Oh, never mind. I kind of just gave a point straight to the uh, zombie side. And the one thing about being on the zombie side actually is it's easier to get revives on the zombie side. So um, that's kind of a disadvantage that the plants like don't have. Uh, sorry, an advantage that the plants don't have. So um, yeah, we, we did lose. That's completely fine. A little bit unicorn jump as I see more than one there. That's kind of funny, but... Let's see how many coins we get. We get a decent amount of coins. I'm going to be playing this event quite a lot this weekend so that I can 
get uh, those rainbow stars to unlock new characters and hopefully we can uh, get those this weekend. So I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, we're in the next game So we're gonna play as the computer scientist as this guy is actually level 7 almost level 8 So we're gonna go ahead and try and rank up this guy, which is gonna be pretty cool We have um, some awesome people in the game who have joined off my name, which is really cool. So we have um, I can't even I, 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 sorry. I can't pronounce that name. Uh, we have uber top g1 I think and we have Liam and then we have Ab do sorry I, I'm so bad at pronouncing names I am so sorry about that guys but we have loads of unicorn jumpers right here oh and we got jumped straight away which is kind of funny but um yeah hopefully we can get some more cool vanquishes today um but looks like this game was actually really close right now like already so hopefully we can win this second game today I think this will be our last game of today uh sorry for not doing three uh games today I think I'll actually want to show you guys what I actually have in the rock store after this as well so that you guys can see what stuff I can actually buy in the rock store. And let me know what you guys can actually buy from rocks as well. Because that would be pretty awesome to know what you guys can uh, buy from rocks. Because, um, yeah, there's actually different stuff that you can buy. I think there's different bots and stuff and different plants that you can buy from rocks this week. I do know that when he was selling, like, the, the golden gatling blots, blots, like, the golden gatling bots and everything. Um, when he was selling all that, um, I think... That is um, when everyone got a different one that time. I think that's the exact same for this one as well. So let me know what rocks are selling for you. Or if you have any legendaries that you've managed to get. That would be pretty awesome. Because um, he is selling a piece to me that I do need to get. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be saving up for that uh, just yet. Um, I know that I can probably just unlock the character from a, like a random sticker pack. I actually haven't got a legendary for quite a while. So um, yeah, that's why I don't know if I should really be saving up. Um, for getting that piece just yet. I knew I had to get Toxic Brains because, um, yeah, that was a character that I didn't have any pieces to and I hadn't really seen a game with the Toxic Brains uh, quite recently. So I don't really know. But let's go ahead and try and get rid of all these guys over here. There's a Unicorn Jump right there. There we go. Oh, there's a there's a guy over here. Let's try and get rid of this guy over here. How are we doing? So the zombies are winning by 10 vanquishes. That's awesome. This game is going a lot faster. I'm actually in crunch mode. I didn't even, I didn't even realize that we had that many vanquishes in a row. Oh, we're going to be be vanquished here. Uh, we accidentally walked into the uh, spike weed, which is... Um, not good, but we're, we were revived, which is cool, but we have our crunch mode meter all the way back down to zero this time, which is not good. But we are actually winning this, so it does look like these zombies are actually winning over this uh, game mode. For this game, it just depends on, like, the luck, I guess, from when you join in, because I was playing a game yesterday where the trumpers would always win. So it just, I guess it is just like, oh, that was lag, I guess, I, I got vanquished right there, so... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and respawn and hopefully win this game. This game was very, very, very fast, which is cool, I guess, so that then we can get some cool uh, rainbow stars. We have 33 right now, so we're very close to getting another 50 to then open up the chests in the Trials of Gnomus. So maybe we'll actually go down there and open up one of the locks um, just at the end of this video here, which would be cool. Um, so yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. We managed to win the game, which is really, really, really cool. So we get five rainbow stars which is awesome. So after we see how many coins we get, I'm going to go back to my backyard and then we can uh, hopefully uh, see if we can get rid of one of the locks, I think, in, in Charles of Noma. So hopefully we can do that. Um, we actually get a boast here, which is awesome. We get the 15 Vanquishes boast. Uh, just the Vanquish Master boast. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to my backyard. See you guys then. Okay, back in the backyard. So I can show you guys what I actually have um, in my rug store right now. And hopefully we can uh, see what we can get. I don't have enough coins to buy anything just yet, which is kind of sad. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can buy from rocks. And then we can actually go ahead and go to the Trials of Gnomus and open up one of the locks in the in the lock room. If you don't want to see that um, because of spoilers, then feel free to click off the video right now. Um, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and see. So what he does sell for me right here is basically just legendaries and special items on PS4 because I don't have anything really on PlayStation 4. So I have a Disco Trumper piece, I have the Golden Gatling Bot, I have the Epic Batatronic Hat, the Future Dummy, and the Robot Disguise. I think what I'm going to try and do over the weekend is try and get the Future Dummy, and that'll be my main priority. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to save enough coins for the Disco Trumper, but I can still try at least, I guess. But... Um, yeah, we're going to be heading 
down here and trying to get um, one of these locks unlocked. Uh, sorry to anyone who is in the game right now. I am going to have to disband the group because it doesn't let you go into the Charles Nomus when other people are in your game. I'm really, really, really sorry, guys. Thank you for joining me in today's video. That was really awesome that you guys joined in today's video. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, disband the group. I'm really sorry, guys. And then we're going to go ahead and hop into the Charles Nomus. And hopefully it doesn't crash. It, it looked like it, it was going to, but it didn't. But um, yeah. Let's go ahead and hop through and try and unlock one of these locks and then hopefully we can uh, be that one step closer to unlocking these characters. So I have 30 right now, 38 right now actually, so that's almost 50 again. So we can actually unlock the Torchwood in today's video I think. We have enough Rainbow Stars too, so I guess we could actually do that. So let's wait for these to appear right here, there we go, and then let's go ahead and uh, go up here and go into the portal over here which hasn't loaded in yet there we go there it is um but we, we probably should have chosen the character that was a little bit faster i guess i guess the imps are quite fast but um maybe we should have chosen like a pea shooter or something that can use a hyper ability or something i don't really know let's just go ahead and hop over here and hopefully head through this portal right here and then open up the two locks that we have left um, so hopefully we can get these chests open and then unlock these uh, characters and then hopefully we can um, yeah be unlocking these two characters and then getting them to level 10 to promote all my characters to level 10. So we have two locks left here. Let's just go ahead and open up this and open up this chest. And there we go, we get the Torchwood. I remember doing this on Xbox One. So now all we have to do is get enough Rainbow Stars to unlock the Hover Goat, and then we should have all the characters in the game apart from the party characters, and I think every single legendary character. So I'm gonna try and get those characters, but um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like, they really do mean a lot to me. Subscribe to notify when I do upload new videos, and I will hopefully see you all again next time. Have a good day, everyone, goodbye.